Hey guys. So it seems that Kyle Brink, the lead executive producer of Dungeons and Dragons at Wizards of the Coast, has kind of a spicy take on things with an interview last night. But before we get into that, uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, click the subscribe button and the bell icon for notifications. It really helps out. And as always, of course, I want to take a quick second to thank our sponsors of the show, Hellebard Games. Hellebard publishes the modules that they'd like to play, whether it's for 5th edition, for OSR, for Castles and Crusades, Old school rules are in play at the table with Hellebard Games, and you can pick their products up through Drive Through RPG or directly from their website, hellebardgames.com. So let's let's kind of jump into this. Uh, last night, Kyle Brink did an interview with Three Black Hobbits, which is a, a great little. D&D interview website on YouTube. I'll link to it below. You should definitely check them out. They did an extensive interview with Kyle Brink, who's the executive producer of Dungeons & Dragons. I always thought that was just the guy that wrote the rules, but it shows what I know. Um, and during the course of this interview, at about the 48-minute mark, uh, Mr. Brink said, and there's a context to this, and I, I want to going forward. I want you guys to understand the context as I do, and I want to give my thoughts on this, and I want to hear your thoughts below, of course. Um, but Kyle Brink said, "White guys like me can't leave soon enough for this hobby." Um, as I understand it, as I comprehended it, and granted, I could be completely wrong about this. What Mr. Brink referred to was making the, the, the creator space of Dungeons & Dragons at Wizards of the Coast was the most important aspect and that it needed to be vacated by white males like him and make space for presumably not white people. Um, and a lot of people have condensed it down into a single mono statement that he is firing white people from D and D uh, and taking this out of out of context and so on. Uh, and now, make no mistake, I for reasons I'll get into, I think what Mr. Brink said was ignorant. I I, I think I, I think it was ignorant of of the past. I think it was ignorant of the present for reasons I will touch on in a minute. Um, but with the people who have just taken the one quote and charged forward with it, I, and again, I'm not on Kyle Brink's side here. I think he's wrong. I think he's damn wrong. Um, but let's, let's remember something, all right? There are people who have taken things written in old school modules, old school rule books, old school monster references, stripped them down to a single statement, bare of any context, and said, this proves how bad those people are. This proves how bad Gary Gygax was. This proves how bad, you know, these artists were, and so on, and etc. And it's terrible. It's terrible. It is, it, 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 it borders on untruths and manipulating words just to make your point of view make sense. Let's not engage in that. Let's not engage in the same thing that we hate seeing be done. So that's, that, that, that's, that's what I wanted to say about that. And fortunately, not too many people are doing, but it, I am, I am kind of seeing it seep out. And the other thing, and this is directed at, at Kyle Brink's egregious and ignorant statement. This is one of my favorite things ever written in a D&D book, and it has nothing to do with the D&D rules. But it, 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 it is a pie in the face to Kyle Brink and his statement in the interview. And it is. 
players, players, and more players. That's what comprises the D&D phenomena. Not producers, not executive producers, but players, players, and more players. That's what comprises the D&D phenomena. And phenomenal is what it is, as the audience for this, the granddaddy of all role-playing games, continues to expand. D&D players happily come in all shapes and sizes, and even a fair number of women are counted among those who regularly play the game, making Dungeons & Dragons somewhat special in this regard. This widespread appeal cuts across many boundaries of interest and background, which means that D&D players are marked by a wide range of diversity. In fact, one could easily use the analogy that there are as many types of D&D players as there are D&D monsters. After that, draw your own conclusions. There are unquestionably fast players, slow players, clever players, foolish players, cautious players, reckless players, generous players, greedy players, friendly players, and obnoxious players. As diverse as this melange of enthusiasts is, they all seem to share one commonality. A real love for Dungeons and Dragons and a devotion that few other games can claim. This remarkable loyalty is a great factor in the game's explosion of popularity, and Dungeons and Dragons has become a gaming cult, as an avid D&Ders have ceaselessly spread the gospel, enrolling new players and expanding groups, which just seem to grow and grow. And that was written by Mike Carr in the introduction for the Player's Handbook back in 1978. It's, it, it's, it's about loving Dungeons & Dragons, guys. All right. K Kyle Brink is wrong. He, he's, he's wrong going in and coming out, and I don't know how he could, he could make that conclusion. All right. We, players, make the phenomena. It's not Kyle Brink and it's not Kyle Brink's opinions. But we, we don't need to fall prey to, to misattributed quotes, especially not when it's been boilerplate going all the way back to the dawn of advanced Dungeons & Dragons, just exactly how diverse the D&D hobby really is. But what do you think about it? Leave your comments down below, of course. I'd, I'd love to hear it. Guys, I, I, I want to view this as, as a positive video. Um, but, you know, what, whatever you guys think, again, please let me know. And, and we'll move forward. And maybe Mr. Brink wants to exit the hobby. All right. Maybe Kyle wants to take his, his quite frankly, uh, poorly thought out statements and exit the hobby. That's fine with me. Hate to lose a player, but if that's how you feel, Kyle, well, we'll see you around, buddy. Anyway, let me know down in the comments. Uh, I'll be back with a little video in a little bit. You guys have a, a lovely afternoon, and we'll see you tonight for some live stream first edition Advanced Dungeons & Dragons right here on this table at 9 o'clock Eastern. Uh, and we'll be doing, of course, a live stream a little bit before that at 8. So until then, guys, have a wonderful afternoon. And uh, look, stay positive. No matter who you are, no matter where you come from, Dungeons & Dragons is for everyone. I'll see you this evening. Peace.